right now I'm going into that mall there. I'm going to meet up somebody, a friend that I haven't seen in quite a while. Hey, the road is muddy. Don't see so. so this friend, his name is Mutemwa um, Simbala. He calls himself as Mr. Fox. I haven't seen this guy in a while. This is our days in Ndola. Let's check him out. This is Levy, the underbridge. One of my car videos, I usually pack up there and bring the car down. Go out like that. People, we have stopped masking up. No masking up, still again kissing. It seems coronavirus has relaxed, but we are hearing elsewhere on the news that it's still. Cases are still too much, second wave, blah, 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 blah. But here, you can mask if you want, but now here at the mall. It's a mandate, it's mandatory here at the mall that you have to mask up. So let me put on my mask before. So here at Levy Mall, this is where, one of the places where masking map is a mandate, is a mandatory. Yeah, you can't enter this place minus masking up. Check it out, check, check out the Christmas decorations. Nice. Nice. Lovely. There's a Christmas mood here. Oh, lovely. This is December. Yeah, come to Levy Mall for shopping. Now let's find where Zoran is. I've forgotten to meet up this guy. Let's forget Zoran. Yeah, or whatever that is called. For Shini. It's true with somewhere there. I wonder where Zoran is. So I'm trying and I'm still uh, looking for it. I don't know where it is. Any idea? I at this moment, but I don't know where Zoran is. So, this side, but I think let me just make a call. So, Tema said that he is upstairs, so let's go and meet him from upstairs. There, I'm going to use all the escalators. There, let's get up. I'm up now. I'm up. KFC. Caritos. Zoran is there. Okay, I've got here now. This is um, Temwa. Temwa is Mr. Fox, huh? yeah. also known as Mr. Fox. This guy was coming to me and it was so exciting because I've been a follower of him. He's into uh, jazz music. Yeah, I'm a saxophonist, by the way. Saxophone, huh? Is that, is that part of jazz? I don't know. Yeah, it's just one instrument that's part of jazz, yeah. Okay. It's one among those instruments. So, Temo, I last saw him, I think, way back. He used to be my buddy at school. He used to be schoolmates back on the Cobra Beyond. So, I last yeah. saw him about five, six years ago. And I found he's, he's, he's now a big saxophonist now. So, he's going to tell us how he got him to, to bring that. And now he got there. Yeah. So, Temo, will you just tell us about yourself? and uh, what you do? Well, so, um, I'm a musician by profession and I'm a saxophonist, like you mentioned in, in the preamble. Yeah, and at the moment, well, I'm just working on improving my skill and also becoming a better music teacher because that's what I do. So, yeah, now that's what I'm trying to push. So, you are, you are a music teacher by a profession. A teacher by profession who, who is specialized in teaching music. Yes. And, uh, so, at the same time, you're also an artist who is doing music. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. Because uh, what I'm saying, so I've never seen a music teacher who is doing music. Oh, really? Yeah. I think you, you, you are the you are the first one that I've seen. Well, there's, there's actually um, quite many. If in the space, you'd actually get to know a lot about the musicians. That okay. Are well, that, those are the teachers. Yes. Those are the teachers and the most performing. There's quite a number of them. Oh, it's interesting yeah. to, to learn about that. So, just tell us what projects that you have done in terms of um, um, the music itself. Okay. Have you done an album? Have you done songs? Yeah, I've done quite a couple of songs. Um, uh, one, one among us, the most notable ones, is the one I did recently. It, um, it's uh, one of the most popular Zambian musicians, KB. It's entitled Siule. Featuring um, one of the best 
uh, R&B secessionists in this country by the name of Essie. You should check it out. Just stay on YouTube on KB's channel. Just type Siwule and you're gonna, you're gonna find it. Yeah. That's not the only song that I've been able to do. I've also done um, um, two of my own tracks. Um, one is entitled um, Savannah Breeze. You can find it on any digital platform from Spotify, uh, Deezer, iTunes, and any other digital platform that you can think of. And uh, apart from that one, I've also done a song entitled Ulendo that I was hoping Ulendo could also adopt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, Lindo. So, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's a reggae jam. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You can also find it on any uh, digital platform. And aside from that, um, um, I've been working on a couple of singles that I've not yet released. Um, people would question why I've been kind of slow in releasing my projects. Um, largely it's because um, back in the years, like um, maybe say last year. And the other one, I was embarking on, you know, completing my studies, in, studies music. in music. Yeah, yeah so um, after after I finished those studies, that's when I started, you know, working on a couple of more stuff. So um, just to kind of tease us, I would say I'm releasing one song probably before the end of the year by the name of Zambezi Breeze. Uh, sorry, I said Zambezi Breeze is supposed to be Zambezi Flair. Uh, Zambezi Flair. Yeah, okay. so coming out. Either early next year or someone mid January. Okay. Just trying to work on work on a few things just to make sure it's, it's done properly. But the audio itself is done. Mm-hmm. People, people could be listening to it before the end of the year. So apart from playing the saxophone, you also sing like the voice. Um, you see, you're talking about songs and imagine yeah. singing and yeah, yeah. instrument. Yeah, professionally at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm not recognized as a vocalist, yeah? Like, I, I don't largely do um, vocals. vocals, yeah. I'm not recognized as a person that sings. But I'd say I'm more of an instrumentalist. Of course, I do sing, I teach how to sing. I'm, I'm more of a choral person, yeah? I sing in the choir, I sing best. But singing as me, as, as a musician, that's something that I'm trying to work on. So I, I wouldn't really say I sing, yeah? But isn't music, uh, don't you have specialists in music, right? but somebody can do the vocals, others, they just prominent into instruments. So I think quite good. I'm saying that in music, yeah. are there are like specializations. Like if you, if, you, if, you, if you can recall what Uncle Rex used to do, I never heard him sing. He mm-hmm. was just mm-hmm. using two mm-hmm. instruments. So are you that type of musician? Or are there any specialists like that in, musician, in, in musicians? Yes. Like, uh you know, in music, music is, is a very diverse program. It's like medicine, you know, where you have pharmacists, you have uh, dentists, you have uh, surgeons, and you have all these different facets of medicine. Yeah? Yeah. So music is also is also like that. So um, in the music uh, program, in the music discipline, there's, there's a part which you call performance. So under performance lies so many other different majors. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, Myself, I'm, I'm a saxophonist, so the people that are vocalists, others are flutists, yeah. others are clarinetists. Mm-hmm. Think of any instrument. There's, there's a profession that's, there's a professional that's specialized, that, that, that has majored mm-hmm. into that particular instrument. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, that's also one of uh, the things that you should know. Okay, let's yeah. tell us about now music school. Uh, you yeah. also specialize in maybe say, okay, me, I'll just be doing this whilst at school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, um, um, music music itself is a very general discipline. It's got like many different types yeah. within within it. Yeah. So um, so when I was when I, when I was in school, what I did was music education. So um, oh, music education. Yes. My okay. school my school didn't really have a focus on on performance. So, so um, I, would, I would say mine was education, but of course performance was there, but we, we, we had to be pushed towards being better performers. Because, I mean, how do you graduate from music school without becoming a better musician? Then what are you going to teach? Because yeah, you yes, yeah. need to impart very good musicianship in the little ones that you are likely to be teaching. Yeah. Teach yeah. Yeah. So, what's the future of music? How do you see the future of music? In Zambia? We are in Zambia. Yeah. Where are we going? 
Okay, yeah. Um, in Zambia, I think I'm amazed at what's happening so far. Um, people are now taking music a little bit seriously. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's others that are lagging behind because they are um, still, you know, they're still attached to their old system. But the future is really amazing. Um, you'd be shocked that it's only now that we have a lot of talented young ones, you know, that just don't know this is a whole different generation so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so by by seeing the young ones doing very well in especially in terms of performance i think it gives a very bright future for the music industry in the country mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of upcoming young musicians you know one of the most notable ones that i know is natasha chancer whom i've been able to work with on several occasions mm -hmm. you know there's there's young young links from from bands like one Generation band, you know, very very amazing musicians, and the future is future is bright, very bright. Okay, it's absolutely bright. That's, that's something I'll do. Okay, interesting stuff, I'm learning a lot from you, but I would want to learn one more thing again. Um, they say, I think I call those days in 2005, 2006, when you yeah, were back in school. Back in school, yeah, yeah. we used to see musicians as rich people, business minded people. Is it the case about um, music? How can we make music? Be something that would be of uh, that could sustain. Yeah, yeah, could sustain. Okay, yeah. Um, I think we should note that the entertainment industry in this country is still going, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, a lot, a lot of people are very uh, hesitant and even trying to pursue entertainment-based programs mm -hmm. because they think um, they cannot easily sustain their lives, and there is no much money in the industry. But I beg to say no. I think there is money in the industry, and for, a, for an industry to be you know, recognizable and to be uh, reputable, mm -hmm. um, there's got to be people in there. So as long as we're having more people that are getting into the industry, I think that way the industry will become sustainable. Yeah. But now, mm -hmm. um, getting to the part of, of it being something that can, you know, give us value as, as persons, I think I would say. The entertainment industry, music specifically, is a very, you know, valuable, if I would say, valuable profession to take. Um, because in music, I wouldn't lie to you, I've been able to do quite a number of things that I didn't really anticipate. Yeah, do, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, I've met quite a lot of um, popular people. So yeah, meeting a popular person does not really suggest that you've made it right there and then. Mm. I think we need to allow ourselves to accept that it's a growing process. And that music is something that is a way of life and we should also accept that music is like every other profession. You can make money off it. You can make money off performances, you can make money off teaching, you can make money off songwriting. Uh, one of the days that people don't make so much money in music, trust me. Mm -hmm. Nowadays others are living off music and there's so many other entertainment companies that are you know, coming up and now. Coming up, yeah. yeah. Uh, already, we've heard of um, two so far that are very prominent in Kalanda Music, mm -hmm. um, Nexus Music, you know, and XYZ. Uh, XYZ, you know, there is a lesson in the where I belong myself, you know. Uh, Pardon? Which one do you belong to? Elation Entertainment. Elation Entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Uh, Galaya Entertainment. There's uh, so many, so many entertainment companies that are coming through. So this gives hope for the, for the industry. And people shouldn't really relent on joining the arts industry. It's something that you can live by. I mean, if you have people like Mark and Tilsla, D, and everything, who are we not to live by, by this industry? I think it's something possible that we can look at um, delving into. Uh, as, as people mm -hmm. yeah. so there you have it guys I think it's just about your passion you can make money do anything but be passionate with what you do like he's passionate in music and you can be able to make something out of it that, that leads me to the next question mm. uh, how did you start is it just a passion was it just a choice or okay um, I've always felt music was a part of me you know um, growing up I used to listen to a lot of classical music without realizing that that's something that I really used to like. You know? yeah. So, I um, find that my first tertiary education wasn't actually music. 
I went, uh, I studied business uh, management, mm-hmm. which I finished and I started working. And after some time, I, I left the business fraternity, or the business department where, where I used to work. Yeah. And I started looking for chances of getting into um, music school. Fortunately, I started um, and I did a degree in music, which I finished last year. Okay. I only got to graduate this year. Uh, yeah, so far I think it's, it's a good ride. For me, it's, it's a passion. Music is a way of life. I feel it in my bones, if I could say that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, um, and yeah, that's, that's something that I think I value so much. I think I, think I could do anything, but music is what I kind of feel fulfilled to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that was, that's so insightful, Kevin. So I'll just uh, ask you the last, just your last words, and also how can you encourage somebody who wants to venture to music? Okay. As a career, as a hobby, and as a passion. All right. So, um, hi guys. So, if you really want to do music, just go for it. You know, if you want to be a doctor, go for it. If you want to be an accountant, go for it. For anything that you have to do, you need to have the passion for it. You know, so if you want to be a musician, get on the right, take music as a profession and take it seriously, take it professionally, take it like you're a doctor, take it like an accountant, you know, give it your all and eventually it's going to pay off. And you can't be a musician without practicing, you know, get practicing, polish your skill, you know, get better, better be someone that everyone could, uh, you know, look up to, some of that everyone would want to hire. When you get to that stage, then yes, you're a real musician. It's like being a doctor, being a surgeon, and yet you don't know how to cut you know, those things inside. You know, it can't really work. So music is equally that profession that needs a profession. So you need to give it to your whole, give it to your everything, like I mentioned earlier. So yeah, that's, that's what I'd love to say to you guys. Thank you so much, Mutema. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thanks for bringing us to this place. What is this place called? Is it so right? Zoran, yeah. Yeah, Zoran. Uh, initially I was lost, but I found it's upstairs, just a leave it. Come, they've got uh, some sweet beverages that you... It's just a nice place that you can come and chill. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll share most of the demos contact in the description box. See you in the next video.